Hey, what's going on guys? Xrude here. I finally found my Zimrock from Archaeology and I'm super happy and I'm making this video to first show you the moment I got it and second to show you how to get this precious sword. One day I was just like watching other guys videos about their lucky drops and I just told my friend I don't think I'll ever get it. It's impossible but those videos were just <laughs> tickling me and I decided to spend an hour a day and go grind that again. Cause I was farming this sword from Battle for Azeroth expansion and I gave up after 700 of troll solves. And right after the first solve, I had no idea at that moment, but it actually showed up. Then I started running around my room yelling. <laughs> Unfortunately, my microphone was muted at the moment, and I couldn't record my voice. But I have a video at least, so here is it. In case you didn't know, this is one of the rarest items you can have in WoW, it's got even lower chance than invincible mount. So the second reason I was recording this video was to show you how to actually get this sword. First off, you must know that getting this sword is not actually easy and it'll be a time wasting grind, I'm not gonna lie. Most of the people farming this will give up in the first week or month cause it's just so boring and you're literally doing the same thing all day long. My advice if you really wanna have it is to only spend an hour or two a day farming, not spending hours straight cause it just makes you to give up after some time. You'll be doing same boring shit all day long and you won't get anything out of it. So be patient, don't spend too much time farming every day and you'll get it sooner or later. So um, also there's a thing that is all RNG. I was reading some comments on Wowhead that some people got their Zimroch on the 23rd solve or after a hundred of solves, but most of the people like myself are getting it after more than five or six hundreds of troll solves. So it's all by chance and no one knows really when it drops for you, but it actually drops. So before anything, you gotta have at least 525 skills in archaeology to get this sword show up in your profession. I believe this was the correct number, yeah. There are two ways you can farm this sword. So generally you gotta be farming troll fragments to get this cause it actually is in the troll tab and the first method is to farm troll dig sites in eastern kingdoms and they usually show up in the lower sides of the map like in cape strangle thorn and this method has got some issues and that is sometimes you run out of troll dig sites and it kind of forces you to also farm fossils and dwarf fragments to spawn troll dig sites again. In this method, you may farm a little less troll fragments, but you may also find some other rare stuff like I did. First one is this cool raptor mount I got, and the second one is this orange ice black toy. So the whole idea in this method is to farm troll dig sites, then when you run out of them, just go to the nearest dig site, whether it's dwarf or fossil, and complete the digging to get more troll dig sites once again. By the way, I got my Zimrock doing this method. I was kinda giving up on that and was about to start trying other stuff and other methods, but it just dropped at the moment I was about to make the decision. So there's also a second method called Mantid Archaeology Farm, and to use this method, first you gotta be exalted with the Lorewalkers in Pandaria, and if you're not, don't worry, it's not even an issue, you can get exalted in less than an hour. To do so, simply go and watch my Lore Walkers Exalted Guide in my channel, it'll also be suggested to you at the end of this video. Then you gotta walk to this place where I'm standing at the top of Magushan Palace and get an item called Mantid Artifact Hunter Kit from Brand Bronzebeard. Uh, you might need two restored artifacts to get this item and you can get those from doing archaeology anywhere in Pandaria. If you solve anything, the common rewarded item can be used in your bag and it will be turned into a restored artifact. So what this item does is actually causing new dig sites to be found in the Mantid area. In this way, you may only find Mantid dig sites, which are super close to each other and from there you can find restored artifacts even easier, which can be traded for troll fragments in Brand Bronze Beard vendor. So what you actually do is to farm Mantid dig sites and transform them into troll fragments. Seems easy. 
You can't really say which one's faster, cause in mantid farm you're only getting like around 6 troll fragments per mantid solve, so it kinda has the same pace as eastern kingdoms, since you're also getting almost 6 fragments directly each time you dig out. So this was a guide, I hope you get what you want from archaeology, I know rare items have really low drop chance, this profession sucks, but there's no way around it. To all people farming rare items from archaeology, don't give up, don't make it boring, just continue, you get it someday. If you think this guide was useful, make sure to like the video, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the video. Thank you so much for watching, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.